we received a strange case from a customer. He said one of his PDD camera just lost the video at night. It is working great at date, but it becomes offline at night. And this is his setup scenario. He has the PoE Envia at his house, and he's used two PoE extender to come up with 1,000 feet, which is 300 meters PoE long round. We suspect the power could be the issues, since these big guys will turn on the infrared at night and it will draw more power from this PoE MVR. Alright, first let's stimulate this case and reproduce the issues. Case. This is the setup scenario. The client has a 60 port PoE MVR in his house. The PoE MVR supports PoE Plus, which can output the 30 watt PoE from the single PoE port. Here we use the 4 port PoE MVR to replace. The PoE MVR is connected to the cable and we also got the HDN out output to this monitor. Alright, this is the PoE standard. We got one PoE standard next to the PoE MVR. And from the first PoE standard, we have the 300 meters KFI Ethernet cable. And here we got another PoE standard next to the camera. Two PoE standards working together to have the 300 meters long run PoE. And here is the PDD camera. It's the infrared version. It consumes about 21 watt maximum. We do have the beautiful image. The infrared is not on. Let's control the camera. There's no problem to control the camera, just like the client claimed. It's working great at date. Now we need to force this camera to turn on the infrared to st stimulate the power consumption at night. I will use a kit to cover the photo cell sensor built into this camera. The photo cell sensor will sense the illumination in the environment. If the output value is too low, which means it's stuck in this environment, the camera will turn on the infrared LED and switch the image to black and white. All right, now let's do it. It will take a while for the camera to sense the lower value and turn on the infrared. Now the camera just switch on the infrared. Let's zoom in. I think we just lost the video. Now the camera is moving. It's the self chat. Every time when the camera reboot, it will run the self chat for the motors. We also lost the video. There's no video. We will see the video back on live quite soon. The camera just reboot and it will lost the video again. This is a very typical scenario. The power budget is not enough. The PoE MVI can output 30 watt from a single port. The camera just consumed about 21 watt. In the standard PoE design, within 100 meters, the power budget is enough. Both ends support the PoE Plus. The client just extend the network up to 300 meters, which is three times longer distance than the standard PoE. Remember we said the longer the distance, the more power loss will be. In this setup, it creates three times power loss than the standard PoE. We just saw the camera reboot again, right? This is what the client see in the camera. Keep rebooting and lost the video and lost the video. What's the solution? Since the power budget is not enough from this single port, we need to replace the power solution. This is the PoE injector, 90 watt. It can output 90 watt through the single Ethernet port. Now let's replace the power solution by using this PoE injector. There's two ports. One is the PoE out, one is the data in. The cable going to the cable, to go into the camera, connect to the PoE out. And use this PoE injector to provide the power for the PDD camera. Then I use a short patch code to link the data in to one of the PoE ports on this PoE MVR. This port only provides the data exchange, and this PoE injector will provide the power to the camera. All right, now let's power this PoE injector. The power indicator is on. 
and the PoE indicators on as well. I can hear the cameras running, the self chat. Let's wait for a while before the, we can see the live video on the monitor. Now we have live feed on the monitor. The camera's infrared are on and the image turns to black and white. Let's control the camera. There's no problem for the pendant and talent. Let's zoom in and zoom out. It working perfectly. This is the moment the camera will draw the maximum power from this pure injector. Since when we are pending and telling, the motors need the power to run. I think this PoE is injected to the system and replaced the power from this PoE NVR fix these issues. But I want to point out there are two factors in the long run PoE, the power and the data. The client used two PoE standard to repeat the data up to 1,000 feet, which is 300 meters, but he didn't handle the power. Remember, we cannot use a PoE standard to repeat the power. The power is the energy. There's no way to repeat it. So we also need to handle the power by ourselves if the power budget is not enough. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.